Donald Trump has been impressed by all the millions of people turning out for his rallies because they are all wildly excited about the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh and also about the chance they might get to participate in the first ritual disembowelment of a journalist. It's only a matter of time, but when it comes to self-organizing, it appears the pro-Kavanaugh right is still working on logistics, because whoever organized a rally to support the nomination only managed to get six people to show up, according to a thrilling account on Twitter by ABC News Capitol Hill reporter, producer Ben Siegel. Who knows, maybe there were more gathered somewhere else, and as the Tea Party types always insisted when crowd size was less than intended, the people who support Kavanaugh all have jobs, you bums. Still, what they lacked in numbers, they certainly also lacked in originality. As senators arrived, the stalwart six shouted, We want Kavanaugh. Then, when Jeff Flake arrived, they shouted, Flake the snake, which is clever, because it rhymes. They could have just gone for Jeff Flake as a flake, but they went the extra mile. Then when Delaware Democrat Chris Coons arrived, they really gave him what for, because Coons had worked to convince Flake to call for an FBI investigation that actually investigated very little, but shame on both of them anyway. One demonstrator yelled, Flake the snake and Coons deserve each other. That was pretty incisive on the spur of the moment, and may well have referred to Donald Trump's rally standby. The lyrics of Al Wilson's song The Snake, which informs us refugees must be spurned since they're all just waiting to murder us. Or maybe the protester just really likes the nickname. Before Siegel moved on to other matters, he got a snapshot of the mighty rally and took down some dueling chowdy banter, too. Siegel didn't specify which Democratic senator was she, maybe Dianne Feinstein, since she's the ranking member, but for all we know they think Nancy Pelosi is a senator. Or perhaps it was just her, the one they want locked up, who started as Hillary Clinton but is now just any woman who dares oppose Trump. All in all, a pretty poor showing. Sad. Weak. Hell, even the 2013 X Gay Pride rally drew 10 people. Oh, and Siegel had some other numbers, speaking of protests yesterday, so multiple times more people got arrested, of the thousands who turned out to protest Kavanaugh, than even arrived to support him. That seems consistent with the polls, no? Mind you, if you are going to have a smallish protests, like this bunch that was also almost outnumbered by journalists outside Mitch McConnell's place, you need to get creative. Like calling it a confirmation kegger, drinking PBR from red solo cups, and chanting I like beer, and chug. 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 At six in the damn morning. And the majestic wheels of democracy turn on, with passions running high on both sides. And the moral high ground on just one, we'd say, but we think maybe, allegedly, abusive assholes don't actually deserve a lifetime appointment to interpret the laws. Ben Siegel via Share of Blue, Huffo, when the going gets surreal, your wonket will be there to bring you the melting watches. Please send us money.